Hi sisters! Okay, that felt really weird. <laughs> if you can't tell by my intro what we are going to be swatching today, it is the James Charles Morphe palette. This is what it looks like in the box. Um, I know I'm super late to the whole like James Charles palette thing, but I could finally just now get my hands on it. It was sold out every single time I tried to get it. So I'm like months and months late, but um, better late than never, so. Here I am. I asked on Instagram a while back if you guys wanted to see swatches and like an unboxing or if you want to see an eye look and everybody voted an eye look so this video is kind of more for me. It's more for me so that I can actually swatch all the shades in the palette and like really see how they all work and I'm like if I'm gonna be swatching all of them anyway I might as well do it on camera because honestly can you really have enough swatching videos. So this is what the palette looks like in the box. It just says Morphe times James Charles, James Charles palette, artistry palette, something in a different language. On the back it says, hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my palette. I love glam but I also have a huge passion for crazy colorful outside of the box makeup and I created this palette with that in mind. I included every beautiful formulated shade necessary to create literally any look you could possibly imagine. I can't wait to see what you come up with when you unleash your inner artist. Which if you guys didn't know this is called the Unleash Your Inner Artist palette. Since I ordered this I've been watching so many of James Charles videos. Honestly I wasn't even subscribed to him so I felt bad. I was like... I can't just order his palette and not be subscribed to him, so I subscribed and now I'm obsessed, so that's good. <laughs> Slide the palette out and it's in bubble wrap, which is nice because, you know, it didn't break. It's a sleek black packaging and it just says Morphe times James Charles. My fingerprints are all over it. Don't judge me. I already opened it and looked at it because I couldn't help myself, but I haven't swatched anything, so that will be new. And this is what the palette looks like. I'm sure everyone has seen it by now, but you know. Just in case you haven't, this is what it looks like. It's about as beautiful in person as I imagined it would be. Um, I'm very, very excited to create a very colorful look. I've been wanting to play with color so much, so I was like, might as well just get it. And I just happened to get really lucky when I got off work one day and it restocked like five minutes after I got off work. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna buy it now. <laughs> so I just happened to get really, really lucky. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to swatch like row by row because I feel like that makes the most sense. The first three shades we have are canvas, ring light, and so good. You can't really see canvas because it's like the same shade as my skin. Then we have 518, rusted, and Halloween. And the last two shades which is wig and tea. And this is the first row. Onto the second row we have punch me, sister, and Mary. Sister isn't as pigment as I thought it was going to be, but the other two are very beautiful and these three look like shades I'm really gonna like. Next three shades is literally You're Kidding and Shook. And You're Kidding is probably gonna be one of my favorite shades. I can't wait to play around with like a, an actual red color. Like this is the most beautiful red eyeshadow I've ever seen in my entire life. Last two shades in that second row is Boutique and Benny. This row is more like a berry tone row and I honestly really like it a lot. That's the second row. This is my sister's cat, Hamilton. He literally helps me pick out my makeup like all the time. And he's been very excited about the James Charles palette. So um, he's just kind of hanging out with me. So the middle row, which is all of the big shades, we have flashback, face, and tune, which all three are very hard to see on my arm. And my arm's starting to turn a little red. Code James, 10% off, no beans, and spooky. And that black is seriously so intense and deep. It like, look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> On to the fourth row. These shades are all so stunning and beautiful. I'm so excited. This is B, Guac, and Hello. And Guac is so amazing. I'm so excited. Then we've got Playground, Brother, and Artistry. This is probably going to be one of my favorite rows. I mean, these colors are just so beautiful. Then the last two shades, we've got Love That and Pinkity Drinkity, which you can't really see again because I'm so pale. And Love That is probably one of the most pigmented shades in the entire palette. Three more gorgeous shades that I'm super excited to play with. We have Social Blade, Daddy, and Cape Cod. And oh my gosh, I'm really excited to mix Daddy with the white shade Flashback. I think that's going to make a really pretty color and I'd love to do a green eye look, so let me know. Give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see it because I'm super excited. Then we've got Cola, Acapella, and Escape. The last two shades in the palette are Single and Skip. And that is the last row of the palette. So I am finished with the swatches and my final thoughts, I mean I know I haven't used these on my eyes, 
but I am so, so excited to play around with some color. I mean, I don't often do like the most colorful looks, but really I don't have a lot of colorful eyeshadows in my collection. So I thought, you know, why spend a bunch of money on a bunch of different eyeshadow palettes that have specific colors and why not just get the James Charles palette that has all of them that you could possibly need. And it has a white and a black so that you can darken and lighten any color that you need. Also, something I think I forgot to mention at the beginning is that this is a pressed pigment palette, meaning it has pressed pigments in it. That's what everyone's talking about with this, like, staining your eyes. Some of these colors could definitely stain your eyelids. I mean, again, I haven't tried it out yet. I don't know if any of them are going to stain my eyelids, but some of the brighter, more pigmented shades could. And so technically, I guess by, you know, certain standards, they aren't eye safe because they could stain your eyelids. So they can't call it an eyeshadow palette. And I feel like there was a lot of controversy with that, but honestly, I mean, by calling it a pressed pigment palette, I think he kind of did his best to avoid any kind of confrontation with that. I'm just very, very excited to play around with this palette, and I would like to play around with it before trying to make an eye look because I've never played around with such crazy colors, and honestly, I feel like I would just embarrass myself. <laughs> if I just try to do it first on camera. So I'm going to try and create a really cool eye look for you guys and then recreate it in a video. I think that is all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see me do eye looks with this palette or just, you know, if you enjoyed this video. Um, I personally love swatches and unboxing, so I thought it'd be fun even though everyone voted for not this. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This morning I woke up with 90 subscribers. I know that doesn't sound like a lot. But it means a lot to me because I never thought I would even hit like 10. So 90 is a big number to me. And I'm so close to 100. And don't forget, I'm going to be doing a giveaway with 100 subscribers just because that is a huge milestone in my life. Because I never would have thought I would have had enough confidence to put myself on the internet, let alone have people actually like watching me. So thank you guys for being here. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Join me and all my weirdness and cats. I have lots of cats. I post videos every Saturday and I'm hopefully back on that. So I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye. This is my kitty Samuel. He wanted to be in the video. I can't believe you're loving me right now. You usually hate me. Oh.